the 25-year-old from Bombay, Kashyap Parupali, unseeded in this tournament. My, my goodness, doesn't he deserve his place in today's semi-final? Having disposed of the number one seed, Chen Long, in the second round. His opponent today, the number seven seed, the former finalist here, Simon Santoso. Beaten finalist four years ago, 2008, was out to Sonny Pui in that final. But now, Santoso, the only remaining Indonesian in the men's singles. And these two men both qualified for the Olympic Games. Olympics. His opponents, just 25, and this quite clearly the best he's ever done at the Indonesian Open. Three times he's lost in the first round prior to this. World ranking gone down to nine, Simon Santoso, because he has been as high as three. And now at number nine. 22 and 9, his win loss record for the year. Seven individual tournaments reached the final of the German Grand Prix. And apart from that, semi final in Australia as well. First round, he had to play against the qualifier from India. Second round, beat Wong Wing Ki from Hong Kong. And what a dramatic match that was. He was 13 18 down in the third game and then won eight of the next nine points to secure his victory. Played against teammates of Rumbaka yesterday. Close opening game but ran away with the second 21-7. So to his opponent. Well, Kashyap Parupali down to number 26. Down three places since last week's world ranking. But he'll shoot up again after his performance this week because this is his first ever premier Super Series semi-final. He's never won an international title. And what a close opening game he had against the left-handed Kevin Gordon from Guatemala. 15-16 down in that deciding game. Before winning six straight points to close it out. 21-16 in an hour and six minutes. Chen Long, the number one seed, was his victim in the second round in two straight games, and he really was quite superb in that match. And then in the quarter final against the Dane Hans Christian Wittinghus, again very, very impressive, and his confidence is growing all the time. Never won an international title, as I say, although he reached three finals in the past in three consecutive tournaments played back in 2009. And this is the fourth meeting between the two men. All three previous encounters have been won by Santoso, and all of them in two straight games, including that last one, which was in the Thomas Cup Asia qualifying competition. And of course, Kashyap Parupalli. This is his second consecutive semi-final in two consecutive Super Series events because he was semi-finalist in India. Helped, of course, by a walkover in the quarter-final, given a walkover by Chen Jin, who incidentally was the number two seed here. And lost in the very first round. Players, to Jan be ready to play. Of Denmark. He was game and 10-7 down when he withdrew.
Well, that was nice to see. A little smile from Kasia and a smile from his coach. Obviously, telling him. Just enjoy the match. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what you need on to my do. right, Simon Santoso, Indonesia. And on my left, Parupalli Kashap, India. Parupalli Kashap to serve. Lobo, play. So Kashap, Parupalli of India. Far side of the court. What an occasion for him, what an occasion for India. Two players in the semi-finals of the singles, of course, Simon Awok in the women's singles. And we've seen that later on. Kashi and his teammates just as Kashi. Two. Couldn't really seem to put that much effort into it. Yeah, it went down like a rocket. Good angle, good placement. Oh, and it's got shot. Three, five. Oh, finish up, he really does move his opponents so well. Good use of the block shot. Pushes opponents to the back of the court. Brings them forward. Creates little angles out of nothing. Oh, he's quick and nimble on his feet. 
Point two. himself, Simon Santos, oh. that yeah, don't forget about the drift. Shuffling. Shuffling lengthways on the court, there's a drift from left to right. Spinning net shot force opponents to lift. Straight down the back and side of Sam Sosa. This is the one that did the damage. Oh, the best of returns from Sam Sosa, but even so, good movement forward from Kasia. We've been close in these early stages. yet. Yes. 
correctly. He's in the right place to receive the smash, perhaps even overcompensated. That's about 159 miles per hour. Eight, nine. Well, yesterday in his quarter final against Mauricio Simon Mbaka, Simon Santoso really used the open game to work his opponent. Blake. Push him to all four corners. And by the time the second hit, Mbaka had tired sufficiently that. Sometimes they could really dominate the game. Typical of the tactical awareness of Simon Santoso. Look how he made his opponent run and get down low. Full stretch. And those deep lunges that cash out is having to use a really energy sapping. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. This coach, this coach. This coach. Push up, the tower, to the big one. Push up. Thank 
Washing up Calvin Callum to retain the court. So kind of connected, isn't he? So he tells her. Discretion officially, of course. Game will be continuous, apart from the designated intervals in this game and in between games. Back level once again.
by constraints. Seven in fourteen. those costumes, the mascots there. as it went over. Well, something won't see better than that. Four straight points from a four-point advantage. Oh, that's a nice two points. So, we do that. Fifteen, eighteen. Pleasing the home fans at the moment. Three times the pressure at Paddy Paddy has tried this cross court matchup a few times. He's failed to make any impact.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. The call of 20 seconds by the umpire. Indication that the coaches should leave and the players should return to court. And I noticed that Pilela Gopichan and Edwin Indrawan, the Indian coaches. Second game. Level. Just calmly giving tactical advice. Lots of encouragement. Little smile at their man too. And whatever they said, it's worked. One love. here at the Indonesia Open for Sonny Santosa, which when he started playing here when he was 16. Wide and long. Two, love. This one, super serious title for the Indonesian. It was back in 2009 when he won the Denmark Open. Never been the premier Super Series final fight. Wants to put that statistic Back right to today. Up. One, two. Three, one. The shot. Mm. Couldn't tell exactly from that angle. But as we were watching that, the umpire once again got very agitated that Paris not playing quickly enough for his liking. In between points, that is. Is anything to go by? I suspect he said, go five. don't put too many clears in because it's likely to go long of that back line. Just keep everything going down. It doesn't have to be a hard smash. Just clip the shuffle in a downward direction. overhead. Uh, 
Okay, we do that. Six, three. I'm going to just hit the angle. I'm going to press it. I'm going to hit the angle of 262. This. Well, both players, I think, are taking equally as long in between rallies. So I don't think the slow play is unduly affecting either of them. They're both willing participants in such a tempo. There's something that pulls in the empire. So wasn't convinced that the shuffle had landed in. It's looking up at the giant sc screen to see if there's a replay. Sadly, we were still seeing the previous point and that point was played. Seven points have gone to the number seven seed, someone in San Tozo. Oh, good mix up. Short. Yeah, got what it deserved. Seven. Seven. Oh. Excellent neck plate. Oh. Party, can tell from his feet, he's only in mid-court area when he plays that smash. Wide. That's a no brave lead. Eight. I think for some considerable time, 
water pipe on the verge of a major breakthrough. In the past, he's taken players such as Peter Gator, Belton, Lanchon Jim, Lindan for three games. And now finally, on Thursday, he achieved the big one. Thank you, number one, please. Nine, he had the big win. Four. That's been impressive, but he's followed it up. Followed it up yesterday with that good win over Hans Christian beating us. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. And this is still only one for the taking. Especially when he's taking it a little bit lower than tape height. He's taking it early. He's not very superb, but when he's pushed off just slightly, slightly late, that's an area he needs to work. And then it's a little good for Chan. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh my goodness! Well, at least he can smile about it. Perhaps a little too easy. Well, lost his concentration. It was probably the easiest shot he'd have to play all match. Hit it off the frame of the racket.
Attenzione. Zaitova. 11, 13. Mm. Good call, Especially when your opponent is standing right there. It has to be accurate, otherwise they'll pounce on it. That really is incredible net exchange. demonstration on how to just apply the pressure at exactly the right moment in a match. Two points away from his second final at his home event. And the will open now, just one point required. support and my goodness they did play a role in this home support is invaluable to an athlete terrific play calm and collected 
and most of all calculated play from Simon Santoso through to the final once again four years after he first achieved that status and how dearly tomorrow he would love to go one better than his achievements four years ago so that confirms that the number seven seed is in the final tomorrow who will he play? The number eight seed, Du Peng Yu of China, or Kim Yong from Hong Kong? Well, we'll discover a little later on.